The course is called Global Decarbonisation and Climate Change. This is a fully interdisciplinary course with a wide range of modules from cross faculties, including law, politics, science, and then engineering, WMG, chemistry, life sciences. I think the reason why there's a need for a course like this that has multiple components is that, uh, well, it, it wants to tackle one of the big problems, obviously, climate change. And for that, you would like to have an audience that have a bit more of a holistic view on how to deliver this. So you want politicians being able to talk to scientists and vice versa. And that's really what this master course brings together, but then from a STEM point of view. There's three pathways that students can take on this course, a science pathway, a policy pathway, and then one that we've left more open-ended for the students to decide depending where their passion lies or if they're unsure when they start. Students can say, okay, I'd like to stick to the science, so I'm going to do this master course with a science focus. Or they can say, well, actually, I'm more into consultancy or I want to be able to interact more with, with people that are non-scientists. And then you can go for a policy stream, for example. From a multidisciplinary approach, I'm not just based in chemistry. I can go over to IBLB, which is our biological building. I can go over to life sciences. I can spend some time in physics. So having that overarching multidisciplinary approach has been fundamental to my overall learning. You can choose your own project, something that you're really passionate about. So this could be in pure science, or it could be science with elements of communication, or policy, or it could be law. So it's, it's very diverse. As a result of that, also really exciting. Students will develop a wide range of skills, not just the background knowledge that comes from these modules, but also skills in teamwork, critical thinking, presenting. I particularly chose Warwick because of the international reputation it's got. It's got a, amazing facilities. It's got some wonderful academics that you can sort of learn from. It's got a breadth of knowledge and experience from these academics that are willing to talk to you and help you at every step of your journey and that's been invaluable. You always want to see successful students going out there and making a difference and hearing about the students that you taught and, and where they are and what they're doing. One day to see a student in Parliament making real difference or coming up with the next leading technology would be amazing.